Freedom! Today I want to talk to you about my time here in the Philippines. A lot of you have very important questions that I feel need to be answered. Also, some of you have some really strange questions. Let's start with the strange and move into the normal, just for fun. The top question that I'm getting, and one of the strangest ones to me, is in the Philippines, do they eat dog? Far as I can tell, no they don't. That's not a thing here. And if it is, it's one of those things that's kind of like US rednecks eating squirrel. Maybe it happens somewhere, but nobody really knows where. It's just kind of a thing. Some of you want to know what's George like to work with IRL? That's a wonderful question. Honestly, he's a dream to work with. Um, I have spent a lot of time in this very office working with George, and I can tell you that he's pretty much the same happy guy, creepily happy guy, that I've been working with for the past year or more. Seriously, he's the only person that has ever made me ask the question, do they just make depressants? Some people have asked, have I tried any gross food? Well, no, no I haven't. Everything that I've had here I've liked very much. I've tried some things that I normally wouldn't. I've tried some things that I didn't really know what it was until after somebody told me. And to be honest with you, I've also tried a few things that still people won't tell me what it was. Honestly, if I was a smart man, I would have known that it was trouble as soon as they started giggling. Another big one, and honestly it was one of my concerns as well, is can you drink the water? Well, the answer is yes and no. The water here is perfectly drinkable. However, as with any traveler, if you're traveling from one country to another or one region to another, you may want to be careful because anytime you're changing your diet drastically, especially with something as basic as water, you can seriously mess up your digestive tract for a few days or even months by making that transition too quickly. So yes, it's perfectly drinkable if you're ready. Another important question that I keep getting is, what kind of restaurants are there? Let me tell you where I've eaten so far. I've eaten at a restaurant called IC, local place. I've eaten at a Shakey's Pizza. Honestly, I didn't even know those still existed. I haven't eaten one since I was five. Uh, I have eaten at, so far, a Taco Bell. I have eaten at a, um, a place, uh, a fish place. I forget the name of it, local place. I've eaten at a Krispy Kreme Donuts. Uh, I've eaten at a uh, couple of American-style burger joints. Um, so honestly, people who come here, if you don't ever want to leave Americanized or Westernized cuisine behind, you don't have to. But I've also eaten at some other less established places or more local places, and I've enjoyed it just as much. Some people have asked where I live. Well, I live here in Eastwood City, in Eastwood Plaza, Tower 1. Uh, I live currently on the 23rd floor out of 40, and um, yeah, I mean, my condo, I love it, it's beautiful, it's got a great view, um, and if you want, go ahead and take a look behind me, you should be able to see it now. And actually, I might be moving condos here soon, uh, I don't know, it really depends on the view. Some of you have asked how long it takes to get back and forth to work each day, well, that really depends on what you mean. I could technically wake up, roll out of bed, and work from my condo. Yeah, that is if I don't want to get out of my underwear. Probably should have said pants. And if you mean going to the dev office, the office where all the developers sit all day long, that's about a five or so minute walk, and it doesn't take very long at all. Lots of pretty sights along the way as well. And if you mean getting up to this studio right here, just as long as it takes the elevator to go from 23 to 30, Whatever floor this is, 30 something. Some of you ask if I am having fun. I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm having a blast. But not necessarily because I'm doing things that I wasn't gonna do before. Um, I've spent a lot of the time that I've already been here working and doing kind of the, the same stuff that I've been doing all along. However, just the change of scenery, the new people, the awesome food, it all makes it so much more cool and so much more enjoyable even if I'm doing the same thing from a different location. Plus, I mean, you know, there's the view. The view is awesome. How many hours a day do you work if you come to the Philippines? Well, that all really depends on you. It depends on what you're doing, the goals you set. It also depends on, you know, what kind of pacing you want. Personally, I like to work a lot. I just like to bury myself in it. So this is a really good fit for me. 
Some of you may just want to knock everything out in six, eight, ten hours, and then go party the rest of the time. That's fine. Just make sure you're back at work tomorrow. Will you stop stealing my pizza? No, Alcohol Arcade, I will not. Does George ever take off the Freedom shirt? Actually, don't tell him I said this, but yes. Occasionally he does take it off. In fact, I have it right here. I have right here George's Be Free Freedom t-shirt. Don't tell him I showed you. Are you prepared for typhoons? As a matter of fact, we are. We are prepared, we're ready for whatever gets thrown at us. Because this is just one of those things that happens here. We have to be prepared for whatever gets thrown our way. Two-part question, have you had street vendor food? And did you react? Yes, I have had street vendor food once or twice. And no, I haven't had any nasty reactions. I haven't turned into any kind of weird ooze beast or anything like that. The food here is actually pretty darn good. Last but not least, who else is coming to the Philippines? I'm glad you asked. I don't want to make any announcements because that's kind of George's thing. However, I know that we have one, two, three, possibly four people who are currently looking at coming. I think. I, I might be counting one person twice. I don't know. If you think you want to come to the Philippines, let us know in the comment section down below. I believe there's also a, a sign up where you can, um, you know, pitch your proposition to Freedom. Uh, and I'll try to make sure that that's in the description down below as well. Till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comments, please. Oh, and if you have any more questions or anything like that, leave them down there in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them, either in text or maybe another video like this. All right. <laughs> like, subscribe, comments, please.